Hi, this is Kim Peck at My Stamping Garage, and I'm going to show you how to make this card. This one is super easy to make. Um, it is a card that's in my December uh, 2021 card class to go kits. They get mailed directly to your door. They have everything in them that you need to make 12 cards, three each of four designs, plus envelopes and any special adhesive. You will need your own basic adhesive, but that's all you would need. Everything else comes in the kit, and the tags are pre-printed. Um, they won't look like this because I did all of them in black and white and just printed things off on the computer and used the stitched rectangle dies to cut them out so they have a little bit of a stitched edge to them. Okay, so let's get started. For this particular card, I used the gingerbread and peppermint suite. I think this one is adorable. Um, I've used it quite a bit, and on this particular one, I have used the dies from the Frosted Gingerbread Bundle. You can get the dies by themselves as well. I also used the Gingerbread and Peppermint 6x6 paper, and I used the dies actually match a lot of the um, images on that paper, so I was able to just cut those directly. My kits don't include any... Um, stamped images because uh, I'm not allowed to sell pre-stamped images. So these are all die cut images, which works great because we have tons of dies. So, okay, so your envelope full of your supplies is gonna look like this. And let me grab mine so I don't have to undo this package. This is for somebody's kit. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me keep this sample nearby so I can show it to you again if needed. So in here, you're gonna find various die cut images. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and this one. But you can choose which ones you put together. Um, I'm gonna use the little rolling pin die. And for that one, um, oh, and this little spatula that I think is adorable. For those items, I used the cooking dies let me get those so you can see them. Okay, so this is the gingerbread die set. Um, and I used the snowflake here and the bell. You could um, also, they match the stamp set, so you could stamp them out. There's a lot of little mint uh, spirals and things in here. It's a kind of a fun set and then a border. And then for the spatula and the... Um, Rolling pin, I used the cooking dies. These are in the annual catalog. So our normal annual catalog, the big one. Okay, so let's take our white paper. And this is the thick, basic white. It's a little heavier, so when I use things for a card base, that's the one I choose. It's a little sturdier to hold your card up. And I think we have everything we need. This, These are the um, lattice they're already pre-cut. They're in the um, annual catalog as well. You get a package of those. So um, those are kind of fun. You can use them on any kind of card. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold this over. And this one, you will want a bone folder if you have one. Let me see if I can find mine. Yep. Because this thick paper tends to resist folding a little bit, so it's nice to have something to give it a nice crisp crease. If you do it the other way, you're gonna get some wrinkles along here. It doesn't matter, it still works fine, but it's just easier if you have that bone folder. Okay, and this one I don't need to put an inside piece because it's white. When I put this red piece on, it's gonna almost be the same size, but it's gonna leave just a little bit of a white border. So you wanna center that. And then for the little lattice, I just use my liquid glue and there's some center dots here. I just picked some of those. Again, I don't do all of them because you don't need to <laughs> and it gets messy. So I just do a few around there just to make sure all the sides are gonna stay down. And then turn that over and I did this at an angle. So it is gonna go over the edge of the red just a little bit, but that's okay. It'll still fit on the card. And I think it makes it look just a little bit more like a baking rack that way too. 
Okay, now we're gonna take this piece, the snowflake, oh, sorry, nope, we're gonna take the bell first. Or whichever one you want to be the top piece that's flat. It doesn't matter whether it's a bell or a snowflake or what. Um, and then I'm going to lay that along there. And then I'm gonna take my snowflake and use a couple Stampin' Dimensionals. You'll use the big ones that I sent in the kit. I just happen to have the mini ones handy, so I'm using them on mine. Okay. You could probably get away with anywhere from one to three on this one. It's kind of up to you. Um, if you're mailing it, I would say the less Stampin' Dimensionals, the better, or the fewer Stampin' Dimensionals, the better. Okay, boy, these backings sometimes are hard to get off of there. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to lay him here. Next, I'm going to put on my little spatula. And again, I'm just going to put glue in a couple of spots. Glue that down and then put on my rolling pin and a couple of dimensionals here should do it as well. This is a cork paper that is in the, hmm, is that an annual catalog or the, yeah, I think it's in the annual catalog. Um, and the thing that's cool about it is some cork paper is so thick, you can't really do anything with it. This could actually be used as a layer on a card. It's pretty thin paper, um, but it does actually have that layer of real cork on it. So it, I like this paper. I, we've had cork paper before that I wasn't fond of because it was so heavy, but this is not. So um, if you've tried it before and didn't like it, you might want to give this a try because it's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna lay my rolling pin out and last but not least, my saying. And I did pop the saying up too. I'm not going to on this one just because I'm running low on dimensionals up here and I don't wanna have to run for more, so. But you can pop that up. That's what I did on the original card. Last but not least are the little red rhinestones, which should also be in your little baggie. And I am going to take just a couple of those. I, if you're not familiar with my work, I tend to like bling. So I put rhinestones on almost anything. Um, you don't need to add these if you're not a big bling person. But there is our finished card. So this is what your tag will look like. If you have a greeting saying that you wanna use, I did use a green. Um, I think the green in this one is Old Olive, so that's what I used. You could also use red, but the kit that you get will have this. So that is our finished card. Thank you for watching.